American Natividad at college and university. It's a busy intersection where in the span of maybe five minutes, you'll see pedestrians, you'll see cars, you'll see cyclists, even skateboarders all zoom by. Well, soon you may be able to see e-scooters as well. The province is currently looking at a pilot project that would allow e-scooters on Ontario roads, but some are calling on the government to put the brakes on that proposal. Electric or e-scooters are currently not permitted on Ontario roads. Under the province's proposed pilot project, kick-style e-scooters would be allowed to operate on road similar to where bicycles can go. Among the requirements, you have to wear a helmet if you are under 18 years of age, but must be at least 16 to operate one. You can go up to 32 kilometres an hour, and you must have a horn or bell. The pilot project would last five years. This is proceeding at a ridiculous pace. Disability advocate David Lepofsky believes the province is rushing to implement the project with no regard to the risk it presents to public safety. As a blind individual, if I'm walking on crossing the street or walking on a road where there's no sidewalk or walking on a sidewalk, I'm concerned about not being hit by some vehicle, a motor vehicle traveling at 32 kilometers an hour. It would be important to first know if there is a way to deploy them safely. If not, then they shouldn't happen at all. E-scooter rentals were recently introduced in a number of Canadian cities, including Calgary and Montreal. They're a popular way to get around, but have created a number of issues, including reported scooter-related injuries. On Wednesday, the province quietly opened up public consultations on the project, initially allowing just two days before the long weekend for the public to submit feedback. It later extended the consultation period to two weeks. The Doug Ford government has been proceeding with obscene haste by trying to sneak by a public consultation. We reached out to the Ministry of Transportation, who told City News in a statement, the proposed pilot project is another example of how the province is helping businesses expand and give consumers more choice. When asked why the pilot project is set to last a long five years, it said this proposed timeline creates a compromise between road safety and access for businesses and consumers. If approved, the five-year pilot will take a measured approach that will promote road safety, foster business innovation, and open the Ontario market to this new new and growing sector. But Lepofsky fears the government is prioritizing business over safety. The government's obligation is to protect public safety, not to decide that, well, we'll, we'll do some compromise between making sure people don't get hurt and making sure other people uh, can make some more money. No timeline yet on when the pilot project would begin. Public consultations end on September 12th. In Toronto, Erica Natividad, City News.